Hey, what's up, Good Life? Thanks for joining me for today's 128 moment. Hopefully you're doing well today and hopefully you're able to join us last Sunday as we began our new series, diving back into the Gospel of John, a series called I Am, looking at the seven I Am statements of Jesus and the Gospel of John, and not just hearing from Jesus in his own words about who he is, but coming to understand what that means for our lives. And, and that, that phrase, those two words, I am, are not just subjects and verbs within the midst of a sentence that Jesus said. Man, it is an important important topic and source of truth for us that's woven throughout scripture. We went back on Sunday to talk about Moses and we talked about the fact that Moses, when God called him to rescue God's people from Egypt, that he came to him in the burning bush. And Moses, when 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 he was asking God, when I go to these people and I say, hi, hey, I'm Moses and I'm here to save you. And they go, who are you and who sent you? Who should I say sent me, God? That God looked at Moses and he said, Tell them I am. Tell them I am who I am. Tell them I am sent you. And there's something so powerful about that name. God is telling Moses his name. His name is Yahweh. His name is I am. That he always was and always is and always will be the same yesterday, today, and forever. And in that is this really powerful truth thinking about our own lives today that, that he is and still is I am. There's a really great book that I read many, many years ago that um, certainly speaks to what we're talking about right now. It's a book called I Am Not But I Know I Am by Louis Giglio, a pastor and author uh, out of Atlanta. Solid dude, um, really enjoyed many of the things he said and written over the years. But in his book, he says this about that, that if God is the I am, he is declaring that he is unchanging, constant, unending, always present, always God. God is telling Moses and us, I am the center of everything. I am running the show. I'm the same every day forever. I'm the owner of everything. I am the Lord. I am the creator and the sustainer of life. I am the savior. I am more than enough. I am inexhaustible and immeasurable. I am God. And Giglio goes on to say that the truth of God is I am. That is his name. What that means for us is that our name is I am not. Now, while that may sound defeating in a moment, it really is freeing to recognize that I am not the center of everything. I am not the owner of everything. I am not the star of the story. I am not in control. I don't get to decide what happens in the world around us. So many times we go through lives bent over from a burden lying on our shoulders, the weight of the world that we are carrying, feeling like we've got to hold our lives together, hold our families together, hold this world together. But we have to recognize in our our lives that if God is the great I am that means our name is I am not and right after like Moses is probably reeling from that interaction with God Moses goes on to say to I'm sorry God goes on to say to Moses that this is my name forever the name by which I am to be remembered from generation to generation you know what that does that invites us into the story. That means from generation to generation to generation, as God's good news story has gone from generation to generation and continent to continent across oceans and centuries, that that story has been passed to us. And we are not the answer. We are still, I am not, but he is still the great I am. And what that means is we've been invited into this ongoing story. That we can look at the world around us, we can look at our lives when it feels out of control, and our response can be, it's okay. I am not the answer. I am not the author. I am not the solution. But in that freeing breath, we can also cling to a solid hope that we can look to the throne of heaven and know that no matter what goes on around us, that God is still the great I am that he is in control of everything. And his story, his great rescue redemption story that's been going on since Adam and Eve sinned and we'll all the way to the amen of revelation on into eternity, that story cannot be stopped because he is the great I am. So good life, my encouragement and reminder to you this week is this. May God help us to set aside our small stories so that we can join the story of the great I am. I hope that encourages you guys, hope it challenges you guys, and I hope it calls us to be a people who will love enough to share the good news and share our lives as well as we pour out our lives in service to the great I am. 
We'll see you 9.30 and 11 on Sunday, 11 o'clock online right here at the church. We'll be continuing our I Am series. I pray that all you guys will be safe with the weather out there tonight. And if you need anything at all, reach out to us at info at goodlifefl.com. Love you guys. Let's go be a people who will love enough.